Topic of today is how we're going to get ourselves featured in tier one publications like Forbes, Entrepreneur, Inc. Magazine. Like what is the process to get yourself published? Well, there's a whole lot of steps that go along into it, so just follow along as we go. You know, this is why most people actually hire an agency because there's so many steps that it takes to actually get yourself even considered to be published unless you're a celebrity, right? So how many of us have seen people like, oh, wow, you know, his advice was in Forbes or his advice was in Inc. Magazine or Entrepreneur Magazine? Like, whoa, that usually seems so far away for most entrepreneurs. Nowadays, it's not so far away as you think However, the depth is the length of time that it takes to get there and the steps that it takes. First off, if you know someone, you're in good shape. Reach out to someone, usually it's who you know and how you know them that can create an invitation or an introduction. However, most of us, most of you are either brand new in your business or you've been around for a while and you just don't have the contacts. So there's some steps that it takes. First off, you've got to actually pitch yourself. See, agencies will pitch for you, but when you're pitching for yourself, you actually have to have something in a formula written out in a way that makes and gets the attention of the contributor. Now, you gotta get ready. You could send out thousands and never get a response. So you've gotta be very committed to making this part happen. You see, contributors and writers for these big publications, you don't pay them to do it. They actually have to be inspired. They're, your story's gotta be so interesting that makes them go, I wanna write about this. So you have to be very, very clever, right? So that means if you're pitching to a contributor or a writer of one of these top tier publications, you have to have a really high level pitch. That means you've got to reference material that they've already done, research the work that they do. If you come in with a generic cold message, they're gonna know and they're gonna immediately press delete. That's one of the biggest things that I see people doing. They're like, I sent out thousands and thousands. I'm like, well, show me your pitches. Well, here's the pitch. I go, well, you said you sent out thousands and thousands. Where's the thousand pitches? But they didn't do it that way. They put one together and they just blanketed and cookie cuttered it to all of them. That will get you a surefire way of an exit or a delete button. So you have to make it catered to them. So you have to research what they do. So, you know, hey, Joe, I saw you wrote recently about farming in Indonesia. And here's the link. What I like the most about this article was how you said this or how you did this. You have to use something that makes them go, ah, oh, they read my article. Say, look, I'm reaching out to you because I also feel the same way and I'm a farmer too. I work in Indonesia or I've done this. I has to be relatable and I'd love to share with you more of my story. Give them like five lines as tight as you possibly can about you or your company or the difference that you're making that can relate to that contributor. See, the more you talk about them, the more they're gonna to wanna to listen and possibly talk about you. Think about it, they write about everyone. So the moment someone comes in and gives them some not only good graces or salutations is the moment they're gonna go, ah, okay, this guy read my piece, he's given me some good butt kissing, right? And he actually knows what he's talking about. I'm willing to give him a try. See, that's the best way to get yourself and to pitch yourself to any publication. And the great thing is, the moment you get one, now you're able to not only add that to your pitch deck, but you're also now able to add more fire to your flames, to your fire, and more wood to your fireplace, because now you've got more options and more ways. So that's the best way to pitch yourself to tier one and tier two. However, there is a much easier way, and that's using an agency. Agencies have the connections, they've, been, they've done the work, they know the formula. The investment you make to hire an agency to represent you is probably one of the best investments I've ever made in my business because it gave me my time back and allowed me not to have to waste all this time not really knowing what I was doing. So agencies are probably one of the best ways because they know the people and they know how to pitch you and they'll find your angle, they'll look exactly what you do, what makes you so unique, and they'll exploit it. So hopefully this helped you understand a bit more about PR and how to develop and position your brand as an expert. Make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna do more of these every single week to give you more insights on how to elevate your brand and to turn it a bit more sexy. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. If you're gonna create a brand, create a sexy brand. If you're gonna be anything, be unstoppable. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, subscribe and tap on that notification button so you find out every time we drop a new video. And if you wanna get more of these videos and find out how to get 
featured in more PR and media and expand your brand, then make sure you hit that one or you hit that video on over there. We're gonna give you a lot more information. And down below, there's two links. One is a free gift that I've got for you and another is an application that you can fill out to find out more about PR and media and how to get yourself featured on Forbes, Inc. or Entrepreneur Magazine. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time and be unstoppable.